Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. In this video, we will look at the strategy for oral surgery. Now oral surgery is an interesting subject and you will see a lot of clinical questions very relevant questions and something that you will need in your general practice too. So your focus on oral surgery should also be to imbibe as much as knowledge you can take because it is going to help you in a lot of uh, aspects. But when you talk about your preparation strategy, you have to also keep in mind that it deals parallelly with anatomy, with pharmac, with surgery, with oral path and oral medicine and radiology too. So there's a lot of overlap between oral surgery and other subjects and while preparing you have to keep that in mind. The trend of oral surgery over the past few years has been pretty consistent. That means the number of questions asked in oral surgery have always been almost 14 or plus minus 2 and that is exactly the weightage that is expected from oral surgery. So this is an important pretty easy to score because there are very selective topics which are hot favorite when it comes to being asked in the exam. Now how do you determine which topics are important and which questions are supposed to be your prime focus? For that we are going to allocate each of these questions from previous NEET MDS exams to the topics on the left and then we will get an idea as to which topics would be more important for the exam. So let's start with antibiotic prophylaxis which is the first question and that would belong to exodontia because you need prophylaxis for prosthetic valve replacements. The next is intranasal enterostomy which is maxillary sinus related and this is done through, through inferior meatus. Next question a surgeon is suspecting uh, involvement of surrounding areas to be malignant and you will take frozen section biopsy. So that's cyst and tumors. Leefort 1 related questions are middle third fractures. Stobie's extraction, the elevator used is straight elevator. Exodontia again. Then a big question, clinical on Ludwig's angina, which is progressing to cellulitis. So that is odontogenic infections. Then a case based question of a seven year old with a lopsided chin on the left side. And here there is a problem with the TMJ. So the treatment of choice for TMJ defects and kylosis. Then systemically injected uh, medicament for controlling bleeding is atomsilate. So that's exodontia. Then lateral trephination technique for impacted third molars. So again impaction. Amount of lidocaine or lignocaine that causes CNS depression, factual question on local anesthetics. Then we have Pedersen index score for complexity of an impacted molar. Then there is a CT scan of oroenteral fistula and best treatment protocol. So this question belongs to maxillary sinus. Then here is a question on complication of local anesthesia. So the patient developed weakness around the left side of the face. Which of the following technique could possibly lead to this? So inferior alveolar nerve block and its complications are important. 54 year old male with history of MI currently having periodontally compromised teeth. What should be the treatment plan? So interim prosthesis you have to wait for a few months until the healing is complete. This question can also belong to prosto, but because this is based on the urgency of extraction, then we'll put it under exodontia. Then a patient underwent extraction of mandibular molar with multiple injections of local anesthetic lidocaine and then anaphylaxis. So what is the mechanism of action of anaphylaxis? Of course, you can also watch the video. Look at the explanation first. You can look at the key concept, get the flow chart, get a full idea about the topic right so that's emergency 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पेरेस्तीजा ऑफ लोअर लिप इज ड्यू टू फ्रैक्चर ऑफ मैंडिबुलर बॉडी दैट्स ऑन फ्रैक्चर्स देन दिस इज रोज दिस इम्पैक्शन फॉर सेप एंड आइडेंटिफाई द ट्रू ट्रू स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो दैट इज मिडल थर्ड फ्रैक्चर्स more about rose this impaction force forceps and how to use them then you also have the video explanation to demonstrate all the details regarding this procedure make sure you watch these video explanations they are very handy when it comes to uh, getting parallel knowledge on the topic and also to understand how to eliminate options Then the next question: A patient was on 20 mg hydrocortisone and was advised tooth extraction. He started experiencing problems, and then there was discontinuation of the treatment. What is he being treated for? So all these are examples of medical emergencies in dentistry. Then a patient with history of diabetes advised dental extraction, and there is hypoglycemic attack. What should be your treatment plan? This is a medical emergency again. 48 year old female which was administered lidocaine with adrenaline has these complications convulsions and seizure which of the following could cause this so this is a local anesthetic problem space between retropharyngeal space and vertebral space is known as danger space important again danger space is a commonly asked question this is the place this is danger space right now next question is image based we have rongeus forcep which is important to remove all the bony projections in exodontia then a female patient reported to the clinic with inability to open her mouth it's a tmj problem arthrosynthesis during extraction maxillary molar root tip disappeared so it could not be be between the bone and periosteum so this is an emergency and also associated with maxillary sinus during exodontia pediatric patient with limited mouth opening complains of difficulty in breathing this is an example of bilateral tmj ankylosis so we'll put that in tmj diseases gilly's temporal approach middle third fractures child with history of trauma complains of deviation of mandible to the right side he has right unilateral ankylosis tmj then we have a clinical image schematic of cogates technique so that's local anesthesia and techniques carpenter reports with bleeding and amputated fingertip which la should be used and the reason behind that so in order to avoid gangrene of toes and digits you will use la without adrenaline then a patient with infected lower molar presents with fever and tachycardia a lot of other discomfort problems the possible space involved is the pterygo mandibular space now uh, space infections the location and boundaries of space the anatomy of the space is all very important once you get a good visualization in anatomy so make sure that you are also following your anatomy tasks and questions simultaneously when you are solving space infections then patients with history of controlled hypertension undergoes maxillary posterior tooth extraction immediately there is a collapse this is because of orthostatic hypertension which is a medical emergency then a patient presented with right side submandibular sublingual swelling and a lot of fever additional symptoms are described these are all symptoms of ludwig's angina this is the second time we are coming across ludwig's angina question patient complains of fever and dull throbbing pain in upper right tooth what is the diagnosis if there is non carious and halitosis so this is maxillary sinusitis diseases of the sinus very classical image of pell sign patient with random glucose comes to the clinic for extraction the next thing should be hpa1c analysis that's the protocol it gives you a good a uh, idea of glycated hemoglobin and glucose control next patient presented with fever of 100 degrees celsius unilateral parallel swelling on the right side and 
uh, villa is shifted to the opposite side this is because of a peritonsillar abscess this question could easily fit in surgery curriculum too right the first direction of force required for extraction of a buccally placed maxillary tooth a question on exodontia then a female who is 60 year old presented with upper left back tooth region pain and halitosis again oroenteral fistula we saw a similar question on maxillary sinusitis all are true about carcinoma of lip except the metastasis point so this goes to tumors and cysts then we have an image based question we have to identify the needle recapping technique this is scoop te technique and let's assign this to local anesthesia correct position of the of uh, the operator to hold the needle with the needle holder local anesthetic question then there's a question on suturing while taking a bite what should be the ratio of distance from the edge to the point of insertion it should be 1 is to 1 okay so we'll classify that under exodontia another question on suturing minimum amount of tissue required between the edge of the flap in case of suturing alveolar mucosa is 3 mm exodontia question then which of the following is not a supplemental injection for endodontic treatment inferior alveolar nerve block la during extraction of maxillary second molar the root tip is dislodged into the sinus how will you confirm this communication by nose blowing so you see there are three such questions regarding breaking of the maxillary molar root one was how will you check what are the places it could go to and how will you diagnose so you have to be very vigilant when you are looking at these questions you could have the same question given to you in a different way so it's necessary that you read all the explanation that follows the question right because you will find a lot of parallel knowledge there right then the next question is on osteoradionecrosis then we have langenbach and catspore retractor which are used for soft tissue retraction then the graft material of choice for repairing alveolar cleft is iliac crest and for blowout fracture is titanium mesh so that goes to middle third fractures then we have a tooth which was removed by recurrent pericoronitis and you see a notching at the root now this is because of inferior alveolar canal so that is impacted molar okay then we have the advantage of using titanium mesh over autologous bone for orbital floor reconstruction now see again this is titanium mesh for middle third fractures and the reason is because long time to heal so it's a parallel question it's it's identical to the one that we previously saw lower eyelid incision should not be extended more than the lateral canthus because it will help you preserve the facial nerve five year old patient with rheumatic heart disease comes to you for tooth extraction when should the antibiotic prophylaxis be given one hour before extraction so this is some protocols with regarding to antibiotic prophylaxis that you must keep in mind especially from the american heart association patient had undergone mandibular first molar tooth extraction comes back to the clinic after 2 days with respiratory distress and the tongue is pushed up ludwig's angina we've seen a similar case like this before this is the third question on ludwig's angina so far difficulty score for mesoangular class 2 position c mandibular third molar similar question we've seen before leclerc procedure is used for the management of tmj dislocation so that's a tmj disease then chances of oroenteral communication is maximum during extraction of maxillary first molar patient with orthopedic hip implant is to undergo extraction which antibiotic prophylaxis here it's not required trap door anomaly is seen in orbital floor fractures lateral trephination technique given by henry bolder is used for the extraction of partially formed mandibular molars so let's assign that to impaction retractor with notch in front giving it a bifid or a v shaped appearance of the working end okay so that's obsweger ramus retractor that looks like this gurin sign lefort 1 fracture very classical which chin is because of removal of graft from here during orthognathic surgery during any uh, graft based surgery so if you are taking an autogenous bone graft from the mandibular symphysis 
then you will have depression of the chin right then n butyl cyanoacrylate cyanoacrylate is the sticky fabric material it's for skin apposition of course you will use the one compatible with skin which of the following is true about ashley's flap again oriental fistula osteotome differs from chisel by the following it is bi beveled difficulty score for another case so this is the third question on difficulty score for impaction Weiser osteotomy is used for ridge augmentation preprosthetic dotry procedure for recurrent dislocations of condylase formation of barrier okay maximum dose of lidocaine very important factual question to remember that goes to la for chemical cauterization in treatment of okc you will use cornois solution classical factual question antibiotic of choice in odontogenic uh, space infection you will go for narrow spectrum after microbial testing pterygoid trismus is caused due to which nerve inferior alveolar block which of the following is a computer controlled la system that's wand then there is a basis of naming plate screw this is from condylar fractures from mandibular fractures and the most common site of mandibular fracture is the condyle this was the last question now this brings us to the summary of all the topics as you can see exodontia is the most commonly asked question for sure i would also consider impaction as form of exodontia so nearly 20 questions out of 75 are from extraction and 12 questions on local anesthesia so if you focus mainly on extraction related procedures itself you are covering more than half the possible uh weightage for oral surgery and then the other parts that is fractures of the middle third condylar fractures sinus odontogenic infections they are all equally important right so your second idea second uh, priority should be these topics and lastly you have lesser questions from uh, mandibular fractures from uh, cyst cyst and tumors not so many prosthetic orthognathic surgeries specifically orthognathic surgery is not so many questions like bsso and all but that doesn't mean that you will completely ignore these topics they can always come up in the new exam in the next exam because there is always a tendency of some surprise questions in subsequent exams and oral surgery is a very good uh, subject to have surprising questions from focus on medical emergencies equally they are very important and you will see a lot of these questions repeat from time to time so you will see a lot of medical emergency based question in medicine in uh, surgery in oral path somewhere in perio wherever a little surgical procedure is involved now with this information in our hand that is we know the topics which are important how do you apply it in your preparation so the next step would be to go to your app in meritus open the tasks under oral surgery and you will come across these topics the same topics that we just saw you will see tasks on these same topics right and the idea is to start preparing each topic each task individually for that you must click on prepare okay and the associated all the uh, sub topics will appear in that window so here local anesthesia first prepare watch the video look at all the data that is given go through it thoroughly make notes from this use your workbook you know consolidate all that data and go through all the possible topics that are given in that specific task let's see one more task here because exodontia is important see so impaction exodontia all of that you need to prepare you have workbook videos you have workbooks you have good illustrations tabulated in flowchart forms so go through them now once you've prepared all of this stage 1 is preparation stage 2 is taking practice questions one by one so you start practicing questions and then take a test with this you will reinforce all this information for longer time and it will help you score better eventually because it's it's staying with you from the foundational uh, phase it is necessary that you finish all these tasks before moving on to the next step so that first idea is to focus on 
tasks which are exactly matching with the topics that we just saw. And now I will tell you how to maximize your preparation with Meritas app. Now there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time. Number one is to start with tasks. Like I said, tasks are the building blocks. They are your foundation and fundamental for any subject. You need to start preparing for the task with the workbook. You, you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test. Now, whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions, each question comes with the answer, explanation and key concept. The explanation will be elaborate. It will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic. It is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations, right? And if you are well versed with the topic, you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind. Additionally, a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos, which are explanatory videos. They are going to talk about how to eliminate options, how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic. So your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is QBank. Now QBank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions. They are clubbed together in uh, topics, they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult and extensive preparation on these questions. Again, they will come with explanatory videos, explanations and key concepts. So once your tasks and QBank for a given subject are complete, you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests. Now the tests are of two types in the app. One is the weekly checkpoint test and self paced test. I'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first. So suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week, then at the end of the week, you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared, right? So that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy. You will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time. So you do not forget it's easier to keep these topics in mind when you constantly see them. So the revision is reinforced. Plus you also get personalized AI recommendations, right? So at the end of your test, based on your performance, you will get how many questions you answered. What was the score? How much was the negative marking? Where are you lacking? What are your stronger points? And then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects. So with this strategy, you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses. Now that is an exceptional feature of Meritor's app. And the next set of tests is self paced test, which you can take at any given point of time. These are subject wise tests. You can also have cumulative tests, multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of tests. And towards the end of your preparation phase, you will have a lot of volatile factual high yield questions uh, in form of final strokes, which are again specialized tests to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam. Now, once you come closer towards the end of your preparation, you will have access to this special feature of the app called Marathon. This is activated towards the end of your preparation where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions. High yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts that are repeatedly seen in the exam. So when you practice these 3500 plus questions, you will also enter an all India competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleagues. It's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time. And lastly, we have the all famous national mocks, which is a pan India or all India nationwide uh, simulation of NEET MDS exam. We conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go. And every weekend you will have access to this special test. You will see a lot of new questions in national mocks, uh, which are based on important topics. So do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands on experience of the exam. It gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to neat pattern. That is 240 questions and three hours with negative marking. So you, you kind of get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all India competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized AI recommendations here as well. 
now they are more important for uh, national mocks too because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your ai recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise so make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app now apart from that if there is any query that you have while solving your questions if you have any doubts regarding any topics you can always contact the faculty on the whatsapp group we are always here to help you and i hope with this in mind you will be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction and i hope we'll be able to help you achieve your dream seat in mds thank you so much and good luck from team meritors